PushGapRadio.com, Hamilton Park, Dallas, Fort Worth. I want my last words to be, I did it. Hey, welcome to Savant TV. I'm at PushGapRadio.com. PushGapRadio.com, bridging the gap between old school and new school radio. PushGapRadio.com. It's Dallas, baby. PushGapRadio.com, Hamilton Park, Dallas, Fort Worth. PushGapRadio.com in Dallas and Fort Worth. Welcome back to another banger here in beautiful Dallas, Fort Worth. We're about to get into P. Diddy. You know, they laying it down on him over there. Say he doing all kind of nefarious events up there in the prison joint mine. But first and foremost, who checked out the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight mine? Shit was sad and underwhelming. Champion Floyd Mayweather of the Money Team said it was the worst fight ever. For those of you who don't know, Mike Tyson was beaten by Jake Paul in a boxing match that was described by most fans as underwhelming and freaking sad. But forget the boxers, man. The real champions was you viewers who went the distance with all the buffering and glitches over there at Netflix. Couldn't understand what was going on with that. How would you run a Super Bowl? If this was your problem with a boxing match, mine. Yeah, all the glitches, all the dang on error messages, all of that. Jake Paul won by decision against 58-year-old Mike Tyson. But they say, they say Jake Paul ain't stopping there. After the fight, he challenged the entire cast of 60 Minutes. You know how old they is over there in 60 Minutes, mine. Whole lot of folk was upset about the fight. Whether you paid for it or got it on the boot. But yeah, all the buffering and glitching, man. It took so long for the fight to go on. They said the best fight was between the two ladies, from what I understand. But yeah, most people say it was scripted. Tyson got $20 million, Jake Paul got $40 million. Now, the only way Tyson could get to $20 million is he had to get to at least seven rounds. If he knocked Paul out before then, then, you know, his money was significantly less. But yeah, folks say it was scripted. Now, a lot of folks said Mike Tyson kept biting on his gloves. They said that was to keep that beast down. Didn't you notice there was a difference between had you been watching Mike Tyson training than he was in the ring with Jake Paul? Come on, my. Round one, no later than round two, Tyson would have laid that boy out. The training was way different. But it was all scripted. They said that's why Mike kept biting his gloves so the beast wouldn't come out and knock Jake Paul dead on his ass. Yeah, very frustrating night for a lot of people. Again, particularly if you pay for Netflix, you know. But they say every time the picture froze, people was yelling, this sucks. And then when the picture unfroze and then the fight was back on, people was like, shit, this sucks too. Said people around the world was complaining. The entire live stream, all the buffering and freezing issues, mine. So, yeah, very sad, anticlimactic, underwhelming, and truly, truly, was a sad fight. Glad I didn't pay for it. But hey, for those of you who did, I truly feel sorry for you. Get your ass a fire stick and keep it moving. Disgraced rapper Sean Diddy Combs, the diddler. Of course, y'all know he's facing allegations of sex trafficking. 